Welcome, Dragon Champions, to another edition of Dragon Champions presented by Dragon Log Gaming. Thank you so much for being here. Today, we're going to be talking about the differences between level, skills, scrolls, and you know, ability scrolls, and gear. So a lot of people who play this game also play Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Um, a lot of I played that game for a long time. I'm still playing the game, not very seriously. Um, I basically log in, just hoard a bunch of stuff, and then log out um, every day. But as for this game, I am very actively playing. Um, I'm playing in the tournaments. I'm playing everything. And this is my roster right now, you see. I'm trying to be set for tomorrow. Uh, if you're watching this video today, Solius is going to be coming out. But what I want to focus on is should you be trying to star out your characters, right? Is that important? Or should you be trying to gear your characters? Like for example, all my characters here are gear seven and maxed out for their level. I can't get this next one. 56 is the next required area. So all my orcs are completely maxed out. Uh, as you can see, I am close to 53. Uh, about 805 experience away from 53 or 50, 55. I apologize. Um, I have 83 experience here uh, to go. Um, obviously, they've got some packs here that I could buy for 600 experience. That would get me pretty close. Um, I have not decided to do that yet. Maybe tomorrow, um, you know, I can get there. So the idea is Solius will start at the time of this video. There's 20 hours left. So it's going to be real, real coming up real, real close. Um, on that, I did not ever, I could not finish this battle. I've tried, um, 50, 54 is just not good enough. It's, you know, it says hero level 60 ability level six and gear level eight and rune level 16. Uh, and I'm not at a hero level 60 nor ability, uh, level six. So, but as you can see, there's not a star rating or a star count on that. And that's because of this. Let's go in here and look at Mortha for a second. Mortha is 54. She's gear seven, right? Her health right, is 11,935. Her shields are 3618. Her magic damage is 1445. Now I have her ruined, right? So runes are another part of this, right? You can obviously get damage. You know, I got her damage here. I've got shields plus some damage. All right, I got speed and potency, tenacity and shields, armor, uh, because which goes in that side, and then speed again. Um, and those are all very, very important. Obviously, see, I've got some extra mods up here. Um, you know, I've been got up to the point where I could farm these, farm these mods here. They're really, really good, but I haven't haven't looked into them. So the question is, what's the most important thing? And at this particular point, I believe that the most important thing is ability scrolls. As you can see, I am at five on her across the board, all right? I could be at six, as you can see, across the board, um, all right? Six here, all right? Um, I could be six on this ability here is 56, uh, and this ability here is 58. So at six, level six, you're basically 58 on her. Um, and I'm not, I'm not that high a level, but she's, you know, I should have this ability. I should have her ability here, ball lightning, her heal and her shield. So this, the first two should be at six and they're not, um, I got the gear, I've got the level, I've got the star count, right? But if you look here at magic damage, 1445, right? So you go down to someone like Nighty L, Nighty L is for me is five stars. She's got magic damage of 1539, right? She's gear seven, but she's not completely maxed out. I'm missing one of the pieces. Magic damage is still high. Her shields are higher at 56, uh, 56, uh, 5,629 shields, right? This star count, yes, does change things, but it seems to be relatively minute, but her abilities, once again, I'm at four, four, five, four, one, All right? Abilities here seem to make your character more powerful. And I think it's just relatively easy to see that 240% of your max damage of 1530, 1539 for 90 L here. 
plus, t you know, 20% damage through shields. Now, I'm not even close to that, right? Right now, I'm at 165. The next step is 200. The next step is that, uh, it, you know, it's 240. It's a lot of damage I'm missing, right? It's almost 100% more damage. Um, you know, it's 100, what? What is that? Uh I'm not I'm not great at the I'm not good at math. I'm a lawyer, right? We don't do math. Uh but you know it's roughly 85 um damage off roughly. I'm just guesstimating there. Um it it's a big deal. It's a huge deal. So when you're talking about abilities, all right? And I made the my last video was about mistakes I made. Right? The mistakes I made are not investing my abilities all the way. Tromguard, right? Tromguard level 6. Boom, right? Shield of the people. This allows him to cast this first turn, right? He, this is his switching stances and taunting. Now he can, and he gets counterattack for two turns. This allows him, a lot of people right now are using, uh, are using Kyra or Kira, however you say her name, right? In two turns, she could stealth everybody and put Tromgard out with, you know. But now Tromgard could do that himself at level six. He's my only level six one is his stant chance to stun here right physical damage 210 of his you know physical damage here 35 percent chance to stun right now i've just got a 25 percent chance to done right and i'm doing you know 50 percent less damage um and so it's really huge gear on the other hand while the individual gear pieces obviously bump up you're, when you gear a person out, when you hit gear seven, so when I went from gear six to gear seven, and I wish I had a character that I can show that to you, um, and maybe I do. Uh, let's see, is he? Is this something I can even level up? I'm close. Um, yes, actually, no. He's got the chest piece over here. He needs the two chests, so it's a little difficult. I don't have a somebody I can just gear to purple, but the jump between the jump between six and seven is huge in shields. It goes from hundreds, like 400, up to thousands. Um, and I, I can't show that to you at the moment. I don't have footage of that. And I don't have a character at the present time that I can just bump up. And I should have I should have done that, so I'm sorry. But you're going to have to take my word for it. The jump is big. So let's kind of look at here. We can show you this way. Old lore, right? 52, gear six. Right, not fully get capped out of gear six, but he's gear six. He's got zero shields. Um, if you look at Salvador here, he's probably a good one. Six hundred and eleven shields. Right at level fifty three, not gear six. Right, his health is you know fifteen thousand seven twenty two, but his shields are here. Um, at six eleven. If you look at Kira or Kyra, however you say her name, right. She's gear seven, purpled, and 4,500 shields. If you look at Tromgard, right, 5,000 shields, right, and he's gear seven because it jumps by a factor of thousands. Um, it's, it's pretty big. Uh, in fact, it's kind of interesting because if you look at uh, Patriarch Chi here, his ability at five is an ally 700% of his magic damage, his might, right? As shields. It's really good, right? That's at at his, at the current level that he would be at at six. I don't have him at six. I have him here. So it's 580% uh, percent of his magic damage, which is good, but when they already have 5,600 shields, right? 700 is even more. And of course, it removes two debuffs. So once again, as we've pointed out before, I have lots of blue scrolls. I have some purple scrolls, but I once again don't have any of these green scrolls, which is really, really sad. And it, I wish I did. And I kind of go through here and try to get as many as I can. But as you can see, I got I've gotten four um, out of those. And you can only get them out of these hard nodes or these difficult nodes. And so, obviously, we have the, the skills coming up on Wednesday, Saturday here, right? The Ability Scroll Rewards, but it's only Wednesday, Saturdays, and Sundays. And so, you're real limited. Um, as you can see, I'm not doing particularly well this time in the tournaments. 36, not bad, but 100, a lot less than what I was doing before. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that I don't have Ability Scrolls. Um, a lot of the people I am 
facing right now where I'm 54, they're close to 60, uh, and they have maxed out abilities, and I don't. And that's really the difference. Uh, the real difference is that, uh, is the difference in, in, in abilities. When you're talking about star count, right, I moved recently, I moved Kira to from, I've been farming her, I got her to five stars, right? Her magic damage, her physical damage went up by about a hundred. Um, hitting gear seven, brought her up to 50, uh, 4,500 shields. Leveling, right, levels a little bit of stuff, but not much. Let's, for example, let's take a look. Um, Corel here, right? Corellia, uh, she's got 4,000 shields, she's gear 7, um, her health, and when we hit level, when we go ahead and hit her level here, this is what increases, right? She gets roughly a little less than 200, she got only got 15 more magic damage, she got a little bit more, um, essentially 9 physical armor, and then her magic armor actually increased uh, by 14, it's just not a ton of stuff. The levels don't seem to matter as much as the gear does, right? Obviously health, speed, like this piece gives her six more speed, health, damage. I mean, I think that's fairly common, but what matters more is the abilities, right? 210 or all the way down here, 255 damage of 1355. Um, or whatever it may be once she gets extra speed, extra health. I mean, this particular thing gives her 65, this piece gives her 65 damage, magic damage. Uh, this piece gives her more 10, 10 more magic damage and even more health and penetration and potency. So once again, the, the big crux of the story is abilities. You can have a five-star or four-star character who has maxed out abilities and you're still you're still going to do more damage than someone who has a seven star character with lower abilities that's my point is that at the end of the day your ability scrolls matter your your ability to have these scrolls these green scrolls for me or the blue scrolls it's just huge um I kind of wish that the developers would either give us more abilities to get some green scrolls or maybe possibly lower the cost of the green scrolls or put them in a node where we can farm them that are not on these difficult nodes. It's not as if they're they're hard to get a hold of, as as I'm saying here, right? Um, it's not, you know, they're available, but they're only available on these three hard, these four hard nodes. That's it, right? That these are the only places, and a lot of the people at my level, you're not really, you're not necessarily needing these pieces. As you can see, I've got a lot of the extra pieces that come here. A lot of these not, mods we're not really needing. Pages boot, of course, obviously you need those because you need to control corridor. Um, but <laughs> you gotta have these uncommon ability scrolls, and I kind of would, I would love to see them uh, in the, you know, in a regular node, even if they were higher up. Um, you know, maybe in five or six, somewhere on a regular node that you can if you go into the campaign, you know, you're looking at these regular nodes, like, you know, something like this, right? Maybe we could get some here. That would be super beneficial, I think, to be able to get the scrolls. Now, it's my understanding that the they're a little harder to get to now, but once you get to 60, uh, it opens up a little bit. I don't know that for sure, as as I'm saying, if you are level 60 and that sort of stuff, let me know in the comments below to see. And we get another hard orc. I'm really close to unlocking hard orc at this point. I'm excited about that. Um, see, once again, right, should I unlock him and just push him up and then get all his stuff? Well, he's going to be four stars. Um, but a four star character can do really, really well in this game because it matters about their abilities. So if you have the abilities to take them up, do it. Um, just hit their abilities all the way up. If you have any questions on this, or if you, if you think I'm way off base, let me know in the comments. Um, let me know uh, in the comments below. If you are new around here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.